how to make a keychain design in Illustrator for the Glowforge. I'll show you uh, just to start off with uh, how to make a text keychain. So if you want it to say somebody's name, that's really popular or mama or papa for Mother's Day, Father's Day, things like that. So we'll start off uh, with just the basic uh, design that you would use to make a wooden or an acrylic keychain. If you want to do mirrored acrylic, we'll show you one last step uh, to prep it for that. So first we're going to uh, come on over to the text tool here. Um, I like to just type my words. So we're going to do, let's say, um, let's just, let's just do mama. That's an easy one. Okay. So typed it. We're going to highlight it. I like Julieta. My customers really like Julieta font. So I like that. You can either increase the text size by just clicking up here on the size. Okay. That's a 43 point font. We still want it bigger than that. I'll show you the other way. Go to the text selection tool, click on any of these, but you want to shift click. So that that keeps it all proportional if you don't shift click it'll stretch it and i see a lot of designs out there with stretched text uh where the proportions have gotten all out of control and it can look kind of messy so shift and click and it preserves the proportions and we're gonna make it about that size you can uh, if you want come over to properties and see how big it'll be um, but actually what what we want to do is first click on it right click create outlines okay now i want to zoom in and show you what this looks like okay these are cut lines so uh i'm sorry they're in uh fill so it's an engrave but in the glowforge if you have overlapping engraves it actually doesn't engrave it kind of cancels out it's kind of like a double negative you don't want it so what you need to do to get rid of those um is come over to pathfinder and click this one which is unite Right, and now those extra lines disappear and you are good to go. So we're gonna zoom out a little bit. Um, you can come back over to properties and see how big your keychain will be so far. Right now we're at about a five inch uh, width, which is actually, I guess, the length. And we're gonna make it smaller because that is a giant keychain a little bit. So again, shift click, bring it down. Four inches is fine, maybe let's do maybe three-ish. And then uh, that gives us room to do the uh, offset path as well. Now, a couple of options here. You can't, okay, sorry. I always like to make my fills red. Um, it just helps me keep things organized. So you have two options um, for how you can outline or, 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 or do your cut line. So uh, come over to this line segment tool. It, it might say rectangle tool or, tool or ellipse tool or something on yours. You can click it and choose something different. There's a rectangle tool. Actually, okay, I don't have the rounded rectangle right now. So you can uh, click and drag, make it a rectangle. Uh, you want to change your fill color to black, and then actually you want to hit this toggle that will switch it to a uh, stroke instead. You could do it up here if you wanted. Now, here's something that you may or may not know about this little, these little dots on the corners. They help you round the corners. So I want to round, and it actually rounds all of them. Okay. So now you have a rounded shape. Um, here's another trick. You can see that my text is off center uh, and I don't like that. So I'm gonna click and drag to select both of those shapes. Go to object, align, horizontal align center. And actually um, I want it perfectly centered so we can do vertical align center as well. And you see it just nudged it down a little bit but uh, it's a step that makes sense for me. And then, okay. so. We have the shape. At this point, this would cut out as a rounded rectangle with mama engraved on it. Which you, uh, but that's not a keychain. So let's go to the ellipse tool and you wanna make a little um, cut line uh, to make the hole for attaching the keychain. Key so again, you can shift and drag. I like about a 0.2, you can do a little smaller. Um, for a keychain, especially, so 0.19, that's what we'll do. Um, you can do it a little bit uh, smaller than 0.2, and that is good for a quarter inch thick. If you're doing it in an eighth inch thick, you can probably go smaller with your hole. Okay, so here we have that, um, and you don't want it too, too close to the edge, actually, because then it will be a weak point, and it might break, and you don't want that. All right. So now we have it there. You see that it's overlapping our text. You may not want that. So at this point, it does make sense to scooch it down a little bit, make it not 
quite perfectly centered. Okay, so at this point you have one option for your keychain. All right, now I'm gonna show you one other option. So I don't actually want it to be like that. I want to do more of the offset path. So object, path, offset path. And yeah, that's a, that's a pretty good one actually. Um, so 0.2 inch offset, it gives you a shape um, so that it's sturdy, all right? Um, again, you want to change it to your cut color, whatever your cut color is, and you want to toggle it so it's a cut line instead of a fill. And then again, you're going to want, I guess I shouldn't have uh, deleted the ellipse earlier, but here's another thing I can show you. So you can just make whatever shape uh, or size of ellipse that you want. Come over here to the properties uh, section where you have your width and your height. Okay, so you're looking at that W and the H. You want to make sure that this is... Um, unclicked okay so where it's got the slash through it if you leave it like this it'll try to preserve that shape okay so we don't want that shape we want our hole to be circular so we're gonna type in 0.2 okay and see see it changed and now you're gonna do the same thing here 0.2 and now you have your 0.2 inch uh, diameter hole okay and so then now we're going to come up to our uh, selection tool, grab it, and move it. And again, you want it to be in there. Um, to the very center, actually. You don't have to do it up at the top corner if you don't want to. Okay. So now you have mama it's going to be cut out though so actually what we're going to do is we're going to move this hole out a bit and we are going to do even another offset path okay um it probably doesn't need to be quite that big this time so let's try point not point q that's not a thing point one okay so now we have that we are going to take this um toggle it again back into a fill toggle this one again I'm going to toggle these for a specific reason. So we are going to um, choose this. We're going to move that over so it's not touching the mama at all. Okay. So we're going to come. You can, if you want to be extra careful to make sure that you're selecting only the things that you need, um, you'll come over, select here. Okay. The blue dot means it's selected. Uh, we want to select this one too. So we're going to hit Command on my on my Mac. It might be something different. Actually, you're going to hit shift not command okay and you see it has both of those selected but not your text come over to your pathfinder merge it and then toggle it over to a cut line again okay so now you have a keychain an offset path um, and actually I feel like this whole this uh, hole looks a little strangely situated there so I'm gonna select it over in my layers path and just move it out a bit so it looks more centered there we go. Um, and of course, with this uh, tutorial, you can put your hole wherever you want it. So um, don't feel like you have to do it exactly where I did mine. All right. So right now you have a beautiful keychain. Um, this is a big seller around Mother's Day with the mama. But if you wanted to do it in mirrored acrylic, you cut that from the back. So you're going to take this whole thing. So select it. So you're clicking and dragging across it using your select tool. Right? You can come up to object, transform, reflect. Uh, it's gonna reflect across a vertical axis. All right, so basically it'll just flip it over at a 90 degree angle. Click it, and there you go. Okay, and now it looks a little strange uh, from our view. It's reversed, but it'll um, print beautifully on your mirrored acrylic. So you wanna save it, um, mama keychain reverse I like to put that in the file name just so that I know what's ready for the mirror and what is not come down to save as a, an SVG hit save and you are good oh then hit okay now you're good to go let me know if you have any questions